Shoe, from the context of the opening cutscene, is about a group of anthropomorphic bird people on the run from a menacing cloud of darkness with teeth. You, Shu, are tasked with gathering the splintered remains of your clan. It's a platformer that both looks and plays like the recent Rayman games. The characters are hand-drawn, beautifully animated, running in 3D environments, making Shu and the other birds pop. It's not as jarring as seeing a cartoon reality, but the one thing that is off-putting about the style is the size of our heroes compared to the levels, making it hard to see and forcing me to oftentimes stand next to my TV, as grand as it is. Along with this small gripe, the controls aren't as tight as the aforementioned Rayman adventures. To compare it to another platformer, it's like Little Big Planet, loose and flat. Loady. There are even checkpoints similar to Little Big Planet that saves your progress but gives you an allotted amount of lies that if snuffed out means you have to restart the level. It's five every time and they're replenished at each station. Due to the controls and cheap structure of the levels, it can be difficult and frustrating to navigate, harshing the games, inviting a loop. Bad comments aside, it's also an inventive platformer granting players access to new abilities throughout the entire adventure. Shu begins alone, only able to jump and glide. Across each set of worlds, she'll encounter two survivors, each with their own special quirk, whether that means smashing through wood, walking over water, activating pulley systems, or what have you. It keeps players on their toes with a few other surprises as well. That said, there are way, and I mean way, too many chase sequences that make the already taxing checkpoint system more infuriating. It's not fun, pure and simple. Shu is an astounding piece of art with a lot of blemishes. For its willingness to try new things, I applaud its mechanics, albeit with generally loose controls overall. The checkpoint system, accompanied with the chase sequences and cheap obstacle deaths, keeps Shu from becoming as iconic as Rayman or even Sackboy. Fortunately, Shu is short to those hungry for a new platformer, despite some flaws, plus the extras are a nice bonus for speedrunners. Did you know that was a Reaction Examiner video? If you liked it, you should subscribe to me to keep up with everything that I'm doing. Also, if you have some other interests, like sex for example, check out Tomops, which is a comedy sex podcast thing wherein my best friend and I check out the weird and abnormal in the erotic. And of course you should support me on Patreon because hey, I want to make the channel better and I want your help to do so. Plus, if you want to check out my writing, check out Game Jerk, where I have archives and new stuff for all projects, okay? You can find all the stuff and more in the description with the links below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.